Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Magic Wishing Star. Happy Easter. This is an Easter pin tag. I've got my, kind of my Easter bonnet on, and I am um, doing a pin tag that was created by Mary and Tony at the Siskateers. So this pin tag, it is all about things that have to do with Easter. So um, these different categories, we were supposed to pick a pin and show it. So the first one I'm going to do is new life because springtime, there's always, you know, new baby animals being born and new life. So I don't have any baby pins. So we're supposed to show a pin of a baby. So I decided to show this pin of Snow White and it looks like Snow White's baby, kind of herself. And those are probably little baby animals in the forest. Um, so that's my pin for that category. So the second category was Easter baskets. Show a pin you received as a gift. So this pin I recently received as a gift for my birthday. It is a crown and I don't usually keep the backer cards, but this one I really thought you needed it because it just looks so cute how it's on top of Cinderella's head. And there's a whole series of these crowns on the princesses. And I received that pin from um, my friend Christina at Playdates and Travels. So that is that one. Number three, springtime. Show a picture, uh, show a pin with flowers. This is one of my favorite pins. I, I love this pin. It's Daisy Duck with Daisies. And it is a Soda Fountain Studio Store pin, limited edition of 300. I, I just think it's so cute. I love how she's, you know, embracing her flowers and daisies with her, with her namesake. Number four, candy. You can't have Easter. <laughs> without, well, you can have Easter without candy, but, um, that's a huge part of Easter. Celebrating Easter is jelly beans and chocolate bunnies and all that. But, um, I decided to show as a food item, this little tiny Mickey premium bar. And I love tiny pins and I love chocolate. So I thought that was a perfect pin for that. Number five, egg hunts. Show a pin you hunted for. I'm sure you've seen at one point or another, if you're a pin collector, these teacup um, hidden Mickey pins that came out. What year was that? I don't know what year it was. They came out, they came out several years ago. So this was the completer pin. This was hard to find and I searched for it for a long time before I finally got it and I was able to complete that collection. Number six, pastels. Show a light colored pin. So I think this kind of looks Eastery. It doesn't, it's not really an Easter pin, but the Mad Hatter here with all his teacups and unbirthday cakes, and it just looks kind of Eastery to me with all the pastels. And I think it's a really pretty pin. Faith. Show a pin that represents your faith. This one um, was one of my favorite movies growing up, or it was one of my favorite cartoons um, growing up. We saw these a lot. Uh, I think it's from Melody Time, and it was Johnny Appleseed, and this is the song he sings, The Lord is Good to Me. 
and I thought that was really appropriate for representation of my faith because I do believe the Lord is good to me. Number eight, an Easter bunny. Show a pin of an animal or a rabbit if you have one. So I only have maybe two uh, rabbit pins and I think I showed one of them recently in, an, in the pin tag that I did for St. Patrick's Day. And so I decided not to do a bunny pin. Instead, I'm showing Doug. <laughs> this was in a recent um, blind box that I opened and I think he's so cute and he's always happy to see everyone. So I chose this Doug pin. That was it, just a really quick pin tag. So whether you celebrate Easter or another holiday, I hope that you have a great spring. And if you would please check out all the other participants, they're gonna be linked below. I know they're gonna have some awesome pins and you don't wanna miss it. So thanks so much for watching. Have a magical day.